Hey, Michael Eldridge here. So this isn't really a well thought out video as most of them are not as well. This is just part of my vlog, my video log. Where I'm just kind of saying what's on my mind for today. And I wanted to mention a little bit about I Know What You Did Last Summer, the movie, the horror movie from the uh, 90s, I think. I finally saw it and it was on, I think it was on Netflix. And, uh, you know, as a slash movie, it's kind of interesting, kind of can see why it had, um, you know, some... Uh, uh, presence when it came out it wasn't that enticing to me now i think perhaps we've surpassed it with the slasher subgenre storytelling or maybe it was just a moment in time or perhaps i'm just not appreciating enough but i want to mention how interestingly and kind of sardonically funny i find it to be um how pre hashtag me too movement it is i'm not making light of the uh me too movement in fact i admire things that it's helped shed light on uh, but I am thinking it's funny in the movie in the sense that uh, not because of uh, sexual harassment or assault. I don't remember those things happening in the film, but simply because no one believes the main character, even when which. OK, so is this new for horror movies for no one to believe the main character? No, they often will say you're crazy. There's no ghosts in the attic or come on, you're seeing things, we've all been up really late tonight, or uh, you're just being paranoid, he doesn't know you live here anymore, things like that. Uh, but in, I know what you did last summer, maybe I'm miscounting here, but it feels like a bunch of times, a bunch is not a count anyway, a number, integer, that the main character, what's her, what's her name? Uh, that she says, like, there's a murderer coming to get us. And several people, one or two people, is like, <laughs> okay, sure. Um, so, for one thing, she runs to a police officer. And she says to the cop, there's like a murderer. This guy is trying to kill me. He's after us. Help. And he's like, all right, sweetie. Okay. Like, murderers. Those aren't real. Those are just in movies. Like, like, why would this police officer be so... And this maybe this isn't too much of a pre-Me Me Too movement thing. This is just in terms of believe women is how why I'm uh, relating it to that. Maybe this is just a kind of an unrealistic level of skepticism. But unless you're like talking down gender-based, I don't see why people would be this massively skeptical of every time she's like, there's a murderer, and there had been murders recently. Like, people know people are dying, and everyone's so skeptical whenever she's like, danger! Uh, and so, maybe I'm overcounting, maybe I'm conflating some movies. I don't think I am, because she also runs over to a shop where her, like, friend works or something, and she's like, let me in, let me in, there's a murderer out there! And the shop is like... Sai, what is all this ruckus? You just make like you're just making a fuss over nothing, and like she's clearly like sweaty and grimy and like being chased and stuff, and uh like looking behind her, like this isn't a teenager just making up danger just to be fun, but no one in the nineties, I guess, wanted to believe that there were murder. Like it's not too, she was like, there's a ghost that's from a spaceship that is trying to give me a vaccine no she's like guy killing people the most realistic thing you could ever imagine as a threat guy killing people it's been known to happen but no one wants to anyway i'm circling about it now i just thought that was kind of interesting kind of funny and if you can think of uh, let me know if you think of any other movies where people are just super skeptical of things that are beyond reasonable to assume someone is not lying about like if someone says a murderer is after me and it turns out the murderer is not there's no murderer after them and they were lying then you tell everybody you never trust that person again it's they might get if they tell the police officer that taken in on false charges you know making fake police claims um so i just wonder why in movies it's so common and maybe I shouldn't relate everything to, you know, social justice warrior type stuff, I know. Um, but I don't want to completely dismiss that either because I do think that's has truth and relevance to it. So I don't know how much of it is that and how much of it is just in the 90s. No one worried about dying, even though 
the murder rate was really kind of high you know, per, compared to most of the 20th century and now per 100,000 people. People got murdered a lot. Anyway, still kind of interesting movie. Thanks for checking out my vlog. Michael Eldridge signing out for now.